have it all. My special guest is a man that knows how to wear a good hat. He, and glasses. Yeah, he does. Yeah, stunners too. Ladies love him. Let's say hola to Enrique Iglesias. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, 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 hola. Guapa. Guapa. Guapa is guapo. Guapa. <laughs> I just say that. I went to Spain when it was the World Cup a couple of years ago. And oh, I and just, they would tell you guapa. And they go, guapa. I get They were talking to you. Yeah, I Guapa, like, okay. I mean, it's beautiful. Is it? I thought yeah. it was just a celebration of happiness. No, 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 no. If they, I'm... They're pointing at you. They're saying "wapa," like. Oh, because I say now, whenever I'm happy, I just go "wapa." I go to a concert, I say "wapa," and people join in. That's funny. <laughs> right, Enrique, you're hanging with me. We're yes, playing your brand new track, which is "filth." Um, which is good, "filth." Good filth, absolute though. Filth. Good absolute filth. I also want to talk to you about sex plus love. Yes. Is it sex and love. I like the sex plus love. Um, the sleeve of the album is quite interesting. Oh. Yeah, but we'll I'm going to play some music and then we'll come back and talk to you some more. Capital, my special guest is Enrique Iglesias. Right, can we talk about I'm a Freak? Yes. Let's talk about the video concept. The um, video, con there's no concept. <laughs> there kind of is. It's kind of you sitting down with loads of sexy women with no clothes on while you smack their asses and do whatever I'm you want to do. smacking their asses. In, in, in the term of like, it's art. You sound like I'm this male chauvinistic. <laughs> No, of. no, it was fun because you actually looked like you were going to like crack up. You were laughing I was. at you know, the, you, you know what's crazy? It was not one of those videos that's very planned. The director just wanted to just throw a party in the house and just have fun and just get a bunch of images and put it all together. And images, that's... women. I love that. A bunch of images. There wasn't no, that when many I say men. There in was the some men in the... I, I didn't that's see that's them. what they were saying before. There is some guys in the party. They were like the trees in the background. Well, <laughs> if, if you go... Uh, most guys that go to a party, they want more girls than guys. It's true. That's the theory. They say that every, like, you should have two girls to every one guy. Yeah, this was right? like five girls to <laughs> every <laughs> one guy. Yeah, exactly. You being the only one. I no, have to ask Pitt you, was there. He, yeah, makes up, he makes up for like a hundred guys. Something about Pitbull, though, that makes him just look like, oh, he's cool. He's like, you know, girls, there's always one guy you just feel like he's not a threat. You, on the other hand, like us, are like that type of guy that girls would be like, okay. Are you kidding me? No, not at all, actually. I, I, I disagree with that completely. Really? No. Can I talk no. about when you walked in today? After you walked in today, we were all, everybody was talking about you. Um, the boys and the girls and everyone was just like, oh, how fit is he? And, da, da, da. and everyone was like, Sh -sh -sh. I'm wondering, how does it feel to always get people that like fancy you? And I'm not just talking girls, I'm talking boys too. It's very rare that we have an office full of people where everybody fancies somebody that well, wants First of all, I didn't even hear that talking, so <laughs> uh, but thank you very much. Whoppa! Uh, whoppa! <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, look, I think obviously if I didn't do music, I wouldn't get the attention that I get. One hundred percent. That I guarantee you. Look, I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a fortunate position. I love what I do. Yeah. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And in a way, it's kind of cool that people, you know, they talk about you, they talk about your music, they talk about what they want to know what you're doing, they want to know about your private life. They want to. It's. It do you ever feel pressure to always look hot because everyone sees you as like this sex symbol away from just being good at music? Where no. you think oh, today I'm going to have a tramp day. I'm going to wear a hoodie and I don't care. I'm not going to look my best. Best. Look, showbiz can be a little bit like that mm -hmm. at times. I'd be a liar if I say no, because obviously you got you to shoot videos, you got to do photo shoots. But I'm more of a dude that I like to be in the studio, make music, and then just go tour. So then and does it annoy you when people like me talk about you being a sex symbol and people fancying you? No, 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 it's, it's actually, okay I, it's, 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 it's cool, it's cool. I mean, I don't consider myself as, honestly, I don't consider myself a sex symbol, but what, depends what you, you know, under that category, what exactly do you have to be to be a sex symbol? Okay, what requirements do you need to be a sex symbol? Everybody in the studio, feel free to shout things. The first thing is you've got to be easy on the eye. Easy on the eye. Which you okay. are, Thank right? you very much. Okay. What else? Second thing, you've got to have swag. Swag. You've got to walk in a room and make people pay attention to you. Yeah. Okay. I think Enrique's got that. Talent. You think so? Talent. There you go. Someone says talent. Okay. Um, confidence. Confidence. And I just think you just Yeah, got... actually, believe it or not, I think, conf yeah, confidence is yeah. a certain degree. And the thing is, when you came in today, you you bossed in. You didn't come in like... I bust in. You bossed like B-O-S-S. -S, like you oh. bossed in. Like you marched in. So, so for that reason, I think we should all cheer. Enrique is definitely a sex symbol. Thank you very <laughs> yeah. much. All right, I'm going to play some music. We're going to come back and talk to you some more. Capital, my special guest, is one of the hottest artists in the world right now. He's worked with loads of people, including Usher, Pitbull, um, Nicole Scherzinger, Sierra too, right? Sierra, yes. Yeah, you have. Enrique Iglesias is here. Let's all make some noise. I've actually okay. been lucky to work with a lot of people. I know, and a really lot of cool. hot ladies too. And from different musical backgrounds, which you get to learn a lot. Because everybody has their method of working in the studio. They have their way of song or writing songs. And you learn a lot. There's always, a, obviously, a little bit of pressure because you don't know if it's going to work mm -hmm. or not. 
but you do learn a lot. And it takes you different directions. It takes you out of your comfort zone, which is good. Right. I want to know what it's like to go out raving with you, like clubbing, because you do a lot of videos and you always look like you know how to have a good time. So I've got some questions. Um, (laughs) Firstly, what do you do to get ready? Like when I get ready to go to a club or out, I listen to Drake's album. Nothing was the same as my repeat album to get ready to. When you're at home and you're getting ready to go out, is there an album? Is there music you put on? I don't usually play music before I go out, strangely enough. But um, for me, the thing is there's no in between. Either I go out to just lay back a little bit and just have drinks and talk to my friends in a place where there's not... The music's not very loud, or I go absolutely bonkers, and I'm just going out, and not not extremely trash because I don't like getting too too drunk. And who goes with you? Is there like any Wing couple men? of yeah? Are there two people that have to go out with you when you go out? For yeah, I out? need to go. I mean, I got my best friends that I grew up with. Yeah. That they need to come with me whenever we go out, and we we'll go crazy. And do you? Because you're taken. Do you hook them I'm up? Taken. Like you're taken. You've got a From girlfriend. Where? Like your beautiful girlfriend. Oh, oh okay. Like you're taken, right. right? Am I wrong? Yes. No, I'm taken. Yeah, you are officially taken. Um, <laughs> so ta- your two boys. <laughs> she would love that to hear that. <laughs> she, she's, yeah, she's. You're taken. She's wife. You can't go out now. <laughs> yeah. Get but back. when you go out, what are the rules like with the misses? Like, do you have to check in and say, "Babe, I'll call you when I get home." Like, how does it work? Um, my girl's really cool, actually. For that, at least she acts like she's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all do. <laughs> don't, don't they all? Um, yeah. I, I think um, when you when you've been with someone for quite a while and you trust them and you know whatever, you're like, cool, go do your thing. You know, I, I think when you're too controlling, I, I don't think that's a good thing. But well, you know, like when you do a video, like you've just done for she the new track. I'm, my girl's the coolest for that. She you are so care. lucky. I, no, no, no. But I oh will. Oh my god! I tell you this, I, and I will, she goes, man, and she's like, I like that. I like when you're like <laughs> singing and you're and you're like singing and you looks like it looks like you're staring at her butt. And like, she's <laughs> looking at it as a video. She knows it's a video. Um, last, are you the last one home or are you the first one that sneaks out? You say, I'm going to the toilet, but actually you're going home. Um, depends on the party. <laughs> <laughs> if I know I'm going to get in trouble, I try to sneak out as yeah. much, as soon as possible. <laughs> but you are definitely a raver. Like, you do like going out, clubbing and having um, a good time. No, look, I, I'm one of those that I could go out yeah. and go nuts mm-hmm. for two days, do it in a row. But then I'm cool for three months, four months. I don't need to go out constantly. That's a good way to be so you get it out of your system. Yeah. You right, I'm going to play some Rudimental. I don't know if you're aware of Rudimental. Yeah, 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 I know who they are. You know yeah, who they yeah, are? Yeah, of course. Um, they're like one of my favourite groups. Um, what do you think of like groups like that? Because British music at the moment, in particular in America, it seems like it's dominating and people are really falling in love with it. We're just talking about it. I think the whole, not only music, mm. even journalism, uh, TV anchors, everything. You, you just hear the British accent everywhere on American TV. What's so your British accent like? Because you've been coming my over My British accent is yeah, you must awful. I always try to do it. I wish I could. <laughs> Could do it correctly. Can you just do a little bit? I could I have a Coke? Could I have a Coke? That's do you know a, what? That's Can not we... bad, right? Cheers, Enrique. No, bad. that was great. Do you know no, what? No, it wasn't. Enrique could I have was. A co- they always look at me like I'm an idiot. Like, what the hell? That's no, not I... even funny. No, I thought it was good because most people say, Can I have a cup of tea? And you said a Coke. Oh, could I have a Coke? Can you get this man a Coke, please? Yes, could you get me a Coke, Let's please? Get... Like, you're going, Oh, hold up. Now he's starting to sound dodgy. <laughs> no, what did I say? You just said, uh, It's all right. I'm not going to even say it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends right. where you are. Like if you're in the north of England, they would yeah. say Coke. Yeah. If you're in the south, they would say, Could I have a Coke? <laughs> right? No, they wouldn't say that in the south like that at all. Are you all. sure? You get yourself into trouble. I've been to the south, I'm telling Listen, you. When I say Coke, they don't understand. And when you, you say Coke, <laughs> they do. <laughs> all right, we're going to play some music. We're coming back. We're going to talk to Enrique about his new album and play his brand new single. Capital, my special guest is the very charming Enrique Iglesias. Woo! Enrique, sex and love. The audience here is massive. Yeah! Big crowd. Can you bring more people with you next time? You've got such a hot entourage. You've got actually Enrique. Actually, gotten... this is the biggest entourage I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> it's like three, but... four people from the record company. I feel like I feel like a superstar. Oh, they label people. I thought they were your people. No, actually, the only one that comes uh, with me is my manager, Fernando. Uh, Fernando uh, and he's he's actually my manager. He's also my manicure. He's a tour <laughs> proctologist. Fernando's funny. Oh, yeah, he is. He's, he is. he's, he's the, a doctor, actually. Yeah, of course he is. He is, I promise you. Yeah, he's, just for he's, those that He's don't. a proctologist. <laughs> yeah. Please. He's got the biggest hands. He, has he? Yes. What do they say about people with big hands? I don't know. I don't know. There is something. Well, that, it know? doesn't work in his case. <laughs> what? Big gloves. Big gloves. <laughs> I don't think they wear gloves in Spain. Do they wear gloves in Spain? For what? For like when the weather's... You don't really have bad weather. You have a Oh, I bit... thought you said for proctology exams. <laughs> of course they do wear gloves. <laughs> right, it's an album.
Yes. Tell me about this album because from the title, from the, the sleeve, the album artwork, you seem like you're about to share the most freaky side of your character no, that freaky. you ever have. Sex and love is it, it's very simple and very self-explanatory. Uh, sex is uh, another two words that can be so close together but yet so opposite and at the same time you know let's let's it's one thing we can all relate to you know we all know what it feels like uh to fall in love to fall out of love and sex is something that you know it's 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 there and it's it, we, we all feel it and it can be raw it can be mm -hmm. immature it can be fun it can be freaky be anything you've worked with loads of different types of people like nobody can ever quite predict who you're mm -hmm. going to work with with this project is it going to be like that are we going to be like wow and we did a track with that person it is there's some cool collaborations mm -hmm. um but to be able to be in an album you know with someone like kylie and then go to flow rider and then go to pit and it, it goes all over the place the album but that for me is what makes it exciting right before we let you get out of here and i play your new single i have a theory that you can say absolutely anything in spanish and it'll sound sexy yeah. right so the top two things start with the top one i want you to say that in spanish and then i'm going to translate so don't tell people what you're okay. actually right so the first one estoy desesperado para eh, por ir al baño eh, porque me acaba de comer un curry y no puedo más how hot did that sound and let me tell you what he actually curry. said that didn't sound very hot no it did sound hot what enrique actually said was i'm desperate for the toilet i had a dodgy curry last night dodgy curry. <laughs> see okay next one Eh, estoy cansado de mal humor y déjame solo. Come on, that sounded sexy too. What he actually said in English is not very nice. I'm so tired and grumpy today, so leave me alone. You think? You think yeah. that sounded sexy? That sounded really sexy. You can say anything in Spanish, like I stink, and it would still sound hot. Okay, cool. It's cool. All right. And all I can say is hola and gracias. That's hola, it. that's pretty good. And gracias, two important things. Hello, thank you. Right, listen, thank you so much thank for being you. on the show. Lovely to meet you. I um, forgot one. What? Toca el nuevo. Sencillo. Talk out. What does it mean, though? Play the new single. Play the new single. You, you see, tell, actually, that one sounds better in English. <laughs> Play the new single. Toca no, no, no. Sencillo. It still spells, it sounds better in Spanish, I think, 100%. You're right. Sweetie. Do you want to introduce your brand new track? And thank you again for being on the Here it is for everyone. My new single, I'm a Freak. Featuring Pitbull. Thank you, everyone. Woo!